freezing out here. I have a lot of free time, so I've gotten a lot done to the truck. Something I did not cover, but all of the underside, frame, uh, rear axle, all the front, subframe, all that stuff. Tore everything out, replaced, finished replacing my bushings, which my control arm bushings were the last ones that needed to be replaced, along with my leaf spring bushings. Uh, replaced all of those, recoded everything. It's ready to go, mechanically, aside from one thing. The exhaust. I'm running about 2300 RPMs, uh, going 70, 72 miles an hour down the interstate. A lot of places have increased the speed limit, 75. So when I run that, I'm at like 2360, 70 RPMs. It's loud. No way around it. Truck sounds phenomenal. Uh, I haven't had a chance to have someone else drive it off from me uh, so I can actually hear it however I mean everybody says it sounds great I hear it when I'm on the throttle it just it sounds good the only problem with that is it's loud you know I'm getting older uh, not a huge fan of super loud vehicles anymore uh, I want like a good sound. I want some exhaust note. However, I also want to be able to use the hands-free Bluetooth that I have. I want to hear the radio going down the interstate. So we're going to take care of that. Currently the exhaust, it's a uh, Flowmaster Super 10's dumped right in front of the axle just off of 45's. The collector from my mid-length headers, it's two and a half necks out to three inches almost immediately then i run into an x pipe right underneath my transmission to the super tens cut off at a 45 and it, it's good the only problem is it dumps the exhaust right underneath the bat the bed which i'm sure is phenomenal for making some resonant sounds throughout the cab of the truck so for starters we're going to take care of that got into the parts bin I'm guessing they're uh, four inch tips. So I think these came off of one one of the C10s that I used for parts. So yeah, that's it's a tip. Probably gonna look better than that. But anyways, it's not gonna stick out from underneath the bed anyways. It's gonna be pretty flush with it. Uh, so I'm just running a 90. I'm gonna run this out to the side. That's going to be a wrap on that. We're going to do a sound check with how it is. Sound check with the 90s. Do a sound test with the tips. Kind of see what it sounds like. And then, instead of running J-Pops, because, I mean, I'm already stuffing 3-inch pipe up underneath this truck. Which, the frame's really narrow. So it doesn't give me a lot of space to work with unless I go outside of the frame. I'm just not, I'm not doing that. I'm not gonna fight with it to try to fit a J-pop in there and do all the calculations. I just, I just don't care. There, I said it. So anyways, these resonators, pretty cheap, three inch. Uh, should have enough of space to fit that right at the front end of my X-pipe. So we'll get that in there, see if it cuts down on any of the drone I don't think there's any science put into this, honestly. Makes me think of a glass pack muffler. But anyways, it's, I mean, we'll, we'll see what it does. I can't imagine it's gonna make it any louder. So, the uh, welds look horrible. I had a big gap on that one. So yeah, we're, uh, Put these on, see how it sounds, and take it from there. Yep. There she blows. Uh, you're here for uh, for good welds. You're at the wrong channel. I just uh, basically hot glue stuff together, and it seems to hold. But anyways, got the resonators in there. I mean. 
just looking at it, I don't think it's going to have a huge difference. Then I've got my, my muffler. I guess I can sit that out. simple and I will say these little flex pops I got off Amazon they filled up well I mean it's really nice to not be busting off uh, exhaust mounts and exhaust hangers I really can't complain and my header gaskets haven't leaked so I'd say they they're doing the job I mean it's not the prettiest exhaust system, but it sounds good and it works. It's really all that matters. cold start it's uh well i mean i don't feel like pushing it out plus there's snow so it's not gonna go well for me so i'm just gonna do it in the shop then i'll get outside and i'll rev it up see what it sounds like
seem. Yeah, it's much quieter in this cab. 